This is Bo Burnham. Or it's supposed to be. Still working on it. Still got some things I want to figure out here. Um, this is old picture of Bo Burnham. It's funny just because I had that reference photo after rewatching the first or second special, but I didn't start drawing it and working on the art until after I had seen Inside. And I like Inside Bo Burnham better for painting purposes. Like I just like the long hair and the look and the facial hair and stuff that he's got going on there. So, but uh, yeah, I just felt inspired to do this the other day and I just picked it up and just started doing it and listened to some songs from inside repeatedly just on mad repeat I need to fix some stuff here still um but just wanted to show you the the progress on this um I don't think I'll have to take it much further man I need to fix that it's I that's no good uh, I don't think I'll take this much further than where it's at right now. I, I really enjoy it. I like it. I think that he does kind of have a sad look in his eye in the reference photo, but because that spray paint in the background looks like tears or running liquid, running blood or whatever, because of it, where it's positioned and the expression on his face already, I think it looks, it makes him even sadder. So good. I don't know if you'll be able to tell right now, but we got some pretty gnarly wind going on. I, I haven't checked what the speed is actually at. Maybe I'll do that when I park here. But um, yeah, it's not fun. I made this realization this morning that I don't think I've ever lived in a place or expected last minute turn here. I wanna read this sign just all over the place. For all delivery, oh, interesting. Delivery slash packages for Atomic. I didn't know if they're gonna reopen or not. They're trying to renovate. There was that flood issue. It was, it was no good. Um, and I really enjoyed that place. Um, and I just don't know if they're gonna reopen. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, since I'm interrupting myself and pulling U-turns every which way, what was I gonna say? Oh, I don't know if I've lived in a place that it's just like it is so windy. I don't want to go outside, and it's just like. Obviously, for me, I don't like wind, and wind is what creates a storm. I'm like, yeah, if it's raining, that's fine. If it's snowing, whatever. But like, it's like you know, you you you. It's been so cold, you don't want to go outside, or it's been so hot, you're like, oh my goodness. But the wind, I'm just like, man, it is just so windy here so often that it's like I don't even want to go out and brave the wind. Like, and it's been since like last night. It's been just giving her. Uh, I'm gonna check what it is right now. Because, yeah, what are we at here for wind? It's reading that the wind is... <laughs> this is only 28 right now. 28 with gusts of 39. I think it's a little stronger than that, but either way, it's not very fun. Gonna go to the studio, try to get some stuff done. Uh, just wrapping up the old vlog. Um, work, started that new job. It's been a little hit and miss with stuff. I don't know how to do this without going into specifics. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to not get into specifics with this, but I think I mentioned before, uh, it's, it's doing like support of folks with complex needs and that means a lot of different things. But uh, yeah. I haven't worked a lot since I started. I've had like four available days and I've only worked one of those days. Um, but that wasn't up to me and I'm getting paid for that and that feels really weird and it feels almost insecure. It feels like, I don't know. And yeah, there's just some things I gotta figure out. There's some things I gotta figure out with it on, on what to do with a certain amount of inconsistency and just trying to figure things out. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, only other video this week is a conversation that I had. <laughs> what did I have my conversation about? Uh, I had a conversation that is not the right app. Um, 
about oh yeah i watched this film last week um minding the gap and it was like a documentary and i talked about that and also the importance for like art making for just like if you imagine if everyone in their life got to do a documentary and got to interview their family and friends and stuff and how much they would learn about themselves and yeah so uh i did a conversation on that and talked about the film a bit and how it inspired the conversation so that's pretty much it i don't have a lot else to say right now uh i'm enjoying getting back to making some art and again i just need to settle into a rhythm with the new job and kind of figure things out and um physio my knee has been getting better which has been really nice um i really had a good time the other day when i was just doing some ball handling and i was like oh, you know what i'm just gonna jog one layup and then shoot one jumper and that's it because i haven't been i'm not i'm not supposed to run or jump right now while i've been healing but also doing the physio and so i just did one of each i made them both and it felt really nice and then i just stopped and that's the thing it was like teaching me this balance of like it's not about just doing, I don't know, it's like being okay with that versus my natural thing is like, ah, oh, that felt good, I want to do more rather than being like, yeah, that felt good. Okay, I'm not going to push it, I'm going to walk away. That's really difficult for me. So it was kind of nice to have that moment. Um, I think that's really all I got to say for this week. It's, yeah, in a state of transition with the job. So I'm going to, hopefully soon, I'll, I'll feel like things are more secure. But uh, we'll see.